Welcome to attempt number two. <laughs> uh, I made a mistake. I made a terrible mistake, and I paid with it with my life. But it's fine. I know how to deal with that. We don't use the uh, stick like an idiot. Well, we'll stay with the stick until we kill that mole rat, and then from there, if the mole rat decides to reappear, that's the question. Will he reappear, or will he not? We were hanging around too much over here, and that's how we got- Oh, there he is. Ow. And... accept. I have no chance in hell. Oh, we did hit him! That's pretty cool. You have a better chance of hitting raiders out of bats, but... Okay. Shoot! Shoot! You suck at aiming! <laughs> there we go. I want to take all your shit. Hey! Hey, my friend. How you doing? Uh, nine. No? Okay, hi. <clears throat> yes. Oh, it's a ghoul. Hey, buddy. You look pretty gnarly. like your outfit, though. Hi. Hi. How you doing? <clears throat> Hello? Yes. Okay, none of these guys have anything useful to tell me. That's fine. I saved them. I feel good about that. Kind of. <laughs> but I got a lot of cool shit out of this. Which is awesome. Uh, we're gonna take a look at what we got. We got Knuckles, which is really neat. Um, double barrel shotgun, which is really cool. We have uh, some stuff. Road leathers. Scavenger outfit. Undershirt and jeans. We have our wedding ring still. What do I look like now? Okay. I look... ridiculous. One of many uses for a toilet. I think that's quite cool. Got some stim packs here. Got some beans. Mmm, beans are good. I like beans. Oh, so good. Especially like, uh, those nice, uh, blue green ones. Uh, the fuck was that sound? Sorry about that. I, well, why, why am I apologizing? You guys don't know I left the <laughs> I was here the whole time. <laughs> no, uh, there was a fly that was trapped in a lampshade for some reason. I don't remember there being a fly there in the first place, and I'm not sure why he thought the lampshade was a nice place to live. But he was there, and he made a weird sound. Um, yeah, so we're out here in the wilderness. I got my iron knuckles here. Oh, goodness. You know that would break your fist in real life? Oh, all these poor people. They were not lucky. We were the lucky ones. Uh, we were the lucky ones. This looks like a jumping puzzle. This looks like a jumping puzzle. I'm probably completely wrong about that, but I'm going to try this here. I have ascertained that there is nothing up there. Um, so there's no point in doing that. <laughs> I spent a good, like, minute looking for any foothold, only to realize I was completely fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> that's just wonderful. Uh, so we have some weird mutated plants here. And, uh... I'm pretty sure they'll come in handy eventually. I mean, right now, probably not so much. But, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this is our former home here. Well, our former neighborhood that used to be quite beautiful, and now it's all fucked up to hell. Um... Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a nice, nice location. Nice location. You know, it's all dead and sad and isn't a lot of life, you know? Everything is gone. Everyone's fried, and the world's been irradiated, so you have things here that still shouldn't be here, but they are, because why the hell not? 
Uh, talk to Codsworth. What if I don't know Codsworth's alive still, right? I mean, what the hell? The postman uniform. What that looks like. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> Look at me, you a smell! <laughs> Hold on, Codsworth. You're just gonna have to wait a moment. I I, I want to get some pretty clothes. I know there's pretty clothes around here somewhere. I just gotta find them. There's a lamp there. He's a toyrit. Toyrit with stuff. Ah, there we go. Sequin dress. Sequin. Sick. You know, I don't know how to say that. So sorry. <laughs> there we go. Ah, we look lovely. Ah, we look so pretty. Uh, weapons workbench. Okay, let's go talk to Codsworth. Hey, Codsworth, look, I got the neighbor's dress. <laughs> I live and yes, I'm alive. Oh, it's it's really you. It is. <laughs> oh my God. This can't be happening. This isn't happening. I'm freaking out. What are you talking about? Why, that you look distraught. Perhaps Sir can offer one of those hugs. <laughs> you humans are so fond of you. Sir is Speaking of which, dead. Why is your better half? He's dead. He can't be dead. He can't be. My character's gonna lose her shit. <laughs> I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. I refuse this reality. I'll make my own. I mean, he only beat the shit out of me. <laughs> a distraction. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't think that's gonna help, Codsworth. <sighs> I don't think you get the concept of this. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. No. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. No, that's not possible. That's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. Not 200 years. That's not Prashibur. Over 210, actually. No! <laughs> Why 210? Minor dings to the old chronometer. That's you suck. I still love you. You're okay. You're a nice robot. I just wish, uh... I wish my house had survived. But, uh, it appears it did not. It did not fare well. Uh... I need food. What? Food? Yeah, sure. I... I... Think. I would like food. Right back. Give me food. Thank you. Go get food. Uh, what, wait, what... What food do we have? Oh no! It's tricycle! Uh. Welcome home. This is a shame. <laughs> I look so depressed. <laughs> My character's like... Oh, thank you, Sugar Bowl, for my titties. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. I'm not leaving. I just, I, I was looking. Yeah. I have, I have sugar bombs. Ah, <gasps> thank you. You're awesome. Oh, seven rads. Are you trying to kill me? Fucker. <laughs> Codsworth. Mom, Taking the bread box. Screw you. Your loved ones may simply be hiding from the Red Menace. The Red Menace. You're an idiot. <laughs> or maybe evil leprechauns. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After I all, like the sir, fact that your Sean, character has a voice in this game because it's. Too. I don't know, there's something endearing about it. Codsworth, are you sure you're holding up okay? I... I... <laughs> Mom, it's been just horrible. Two centuries 
but no one to talk to, no one to serve. Aww, he's so I sad. He's trying to wipe away tears that are not yes, there. It's okay, that the my knuckles back. stroke you. <laughs> Oh no, my car. Uh, stay with me. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Look into my I eyes. It's about. fine. The You'll be good. Came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. Well, I, I husband is, but. <laughs> I believe so. Was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. Oh, no. But then, well. Everything happened. See, it's funny because there's humor and there's also a lot of depressing shit in this, and it's just it's it's so unique the way they do that. Uh, Hollow tape. Well, I'm not an idiot. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Stop crying. Enough you're gonna explode. Shall we search the neighborhood together, it, sir? And young Sean may there, turn up yet. Yeah, well, I I could show you where sir is. Uh. Have you seen anything dangerous? Yes, like people with guns. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Let's go. How to serve, Mum? And we'll never see him again. Okay, let's uh look around the neighborhood with Cogsworth. Come on, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go! Let's go out for a walk. Come on. Oh, my fucking car. Are you serious? This is depressing. So yeah, our house is pretty much nuked. Um, that's really upsetting. It's the baby's room. And all the shit in here that we have no use for anymore because it's destroyed. He's like... What the hell are you doing? Burning insects or something. Ripping. Did you just say ripping? Flies. <laughs> Wait. My senses are picking up. Is there anything over here? Plastic house. pumpkin. I want it. Follow me. I'll take another dress. Why not? Screw it. There is a safe here. I know how to. I know how to do this. And there we go. Got it. Ooh. 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 Okay. No, press tab. I'm not used to the whole tab system. I'll admit that. Uh, rose dress. Rose dress. I want a rose dress. No, peril. Peril, peril, peril. Uh, laundered rose dress. Ew. God, no. Let's go back to the sequin dress. Sequin. Sequin. Um, I wonder if I can equip something. No, we can't. No. Oh, no. Oh, wait, we can. Uh, left arm. Okay, so you can wear armor with these. That's cool. So you can look pretty and whatever. Uh, if you're a guy, I don't think you want to wear the dress unless you're one of those guys that likes dresses. In that case, we're taking the toaster. He's going with us. Uh, unless you're one of the guys that likes, uh, dresses. I'm not judging. I'm just saying I don't like wearing dresses myself, so <laughs> I do that in the video games. <laughs> oh, I always make like some psychotic, crazy bitch, and uh, yeah, that's what I like doing. That's my character. I like I like building characters that are beautiful women with damaged minds and sharp. <laughs> God damn it! They're really gone, aren't they? I, I know I named my character Miss Titties, but I didn't expect him to say it. Oh my god. Sean's out there, Codsworth. Oh. Uh, I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? Hours are fun. people there. <laughs> and last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Oh. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? 
just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood well, past the red rocket station yeah but that was before the world ended i mean for all i know for all i know there's like a giant dead whale carcass there and two missiles i mean what the hell or like th 30 you know 30 dead furries and a school bus for some reason there could be anything there. I mean, it's, the world ended. <laughs> Shit goes crazy. Someone made a fortification here after the apocalypse. Uh, that's really neat. I like, I like how scenery tells a story. Good game makers, they will design. Oh, we can activate the TV. Never mind, we can't. Okay, not that that would be any use to us, anyways. Uh, good game makers will let the scenery tell a story, and I love that. I love walking into a game that's immersive and seeing stuff that is so... Like, it's telling its own story. You're seeing things that were placed there, or there's characters, you know, in positions, or there's items on the ground. There's, like, a blood stain on the wall and, like, a sma smashed window or something like that. Especially in the game, like, Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead tells a very good story without telling a story. Um, our door still works, but it's really fucked up. I'm just looking over here to see what there is. Mr. Handy Fuel. I actually don't know if we should have taken that or not, but whatever. There's bottle caps in there, okay. Um, but that's the thing, like... I'm coming, sweetheart. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. Uh, yeah, I mean, a good, uh... story... a good game tells itself as it goes along and you'll see things and there's no food in here which is really upsetting like all of our stuff is gone people people came in they looted it a long time ago or it was annihilated I don't know one way or the other uh, so I'm gonna move on here to Concord here and we're gonna see if there's anything of value around the local area I could spend so much time looting you all that wasn't a word. Um, I could spend so much time looting and just looking around, but I know you guys are probably more interested in seeing what goes on in this game, like, action-wise.